Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes, and I'm here with a tutorial to teach you guys how to perform telekinesis while under the influence of alcohol or liquor. And that's the thing is that right here you see me moving this camera on this can, I was actually drunk when I did that. Very, very drunk. Most of these clips are very old clips, a few months old, and uh, they're all clips where I perform psychokinesis while being drunk as hell. I was buzzing, I was drunk. And it actually took a long time to kind of get going, but uh, these clips show me doing very well. Now, the, the thing is, though, is that um, when you're under the influence, you have to understand that before becoming drunk, before getting plastered or tanked, you have to understand that um, you have to um, uh, premeditate, basically think ahead before becoming drunk, before going through the process of being drunk, taking some shots and drinking beer. You have to think to yourself, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Before I get drunk, I want to be able to perform psychokinesis well. So with that basic idea, after being able to perform psychokinesis, I'm assuming that most of the people that want to do this are able to spin a side wheel at least, or uh, tip over this paper so you can see um, to the side and all that. Well, you have to think ahead before getting drunk. You have to carry that thought and that intention that you want to perform psychokinesis while under the influence of being totally drunk or at least buzzing which is an altered form of, uh, of consciousness you know and with that you have to learn to carry it through even while being drunk in the back of your mind the subconscious mind that your intention is to reach a certain level of drunkenness and still be able to perform these psychokinetic uh, tasks so you have to carry it through no matter how drunk you get or how much drunk you get you have to carry it through even in the back of your mind your subconscious so what it is is that you're basically you're sub you're, you're basically still sober in your subconscious mind your intention is is a uh, is a sober thought you have to basically become a separate entity of your own self like a second self um like a second person watching yourself and your subconscious mind that's it's getting complicated but when a person gets very drunk their ego gets all wild and crazy and all this stuff and what you have to do is that you have you have to be beside yourself beside yourself and that's basically even when you're doing psychokinesis with a sober mind without drinking so when you're drunk you have to be drunk but you have to also allow for your inner self to create a second form of thinking that's a sober form of thinking and that sober form of thinking is going to balance the the uh, basically um, erratic ego and uh, intoxicated mind to allow you to perform the psychokinetic task so basically you have to look at the reality of you being drunk as sort of false that you're not drunk and you have to kind of um suppress it to see it as an act that you're acting drunk when you're drunk so so basically you're really drunk but you have to see it as just an experience and an act that will allow you to become uh, in a sober thought to perform psychokinesis now i'll talk about controlling object psychokinesis the thing is though is that like i like i said in the video you have to let the object go where it wants but what i'm really saying is that you have to visualize before performing psychokinesis, visualize how you want the object to move. Don't force it, don't become too excited, don't, uh, don't get too involved, just kind of relax. Just visualize how you want it to see. Let it become something like a fluid thought, very fluid, very smooth thought. And then when you perform it, that thought then becomes an afterthought, a previous thought. That's what moves the object. And what you're doing is that when you get that object to move, and in order to control it, while it's in motion, while it's being affected by the previous thought, what you're doing is that you're canceling that motion when it's affected by the previous thought. You're canceling it and you're just telling it, okay, yeah, you're going that way, but now I want you to come this way. Cancel it. Now go this way. So if it's going left, being affected by the afterthought of what you were visualizing before you started to do or perform psychokinesis with it is that you're telling okay you're going left but uh no cancel it now i want you to go right but you're suggesting and softly 
persuading it to go the other way. You're balancing those two things. That's control. So cheers everybody, enjoy your beers and tequila. Thank you guys for watching, God bless.